So Android 14 is officially out for some of the Pixel devices and also some of the beta builds are going on. But the best part is, now we can install Android 14 based ROM on our POCO F1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see how to install this ROM. So right now on this POCO F1, I am running the Android 13 ROM. So moving towards the about phone section, over here you will see that I am running the Android 13 version of this ROM running on POCO F1. And from Android 13, we are going to install the Android 14 ROM which is the latest launch by the AOSPA team. So for this as usual, you need some files. So the files are same just like you need for the Android 13 installation. The similar files are the DFE and the firmware. So these are the prerequisite and also most important is the rom.zip file. So over here this is the rom.zip and also the prerequisite files as usual. So now we will go to the reboot system option and we will just reboot it to the recovery of our device. So moving back to the option where you can just restart your device and on advance you just click on recovery. So clicking on this you will reach to the TWRP recovery page from where you have to install the Android 14 ROM. Also make sure that you are running on this TWRP version of version 3.7 provided by the Reams, the same you used for Android 13 installation. So now at the very first time you just have to click on wipe and wipe all the required partitions such as the Dalvik, Cache, System, Vendor, Data and System EXT. Just carefully select all the partitions and you just have to swipe to confirm. Once you do this, you will see that the wipe process has been completed. Now you just have to go back, click on install and you have to navigate to the folder where your prerequisite files resides. So over here, these are the prerequisite. At the very first time, you have to select the firmware. And now click on add more zips and now you have to locate your rom.zip file. Once you located it, you just have to click on it and basically you have to install these two files together. That is the firmware and the rom.zip. Always make sure that you flash all the files in the order which is mentioned in the video so that you won't face any type of issue and your flashing procedure will be super smooth. So let's fast forward to the point where we will be done with installing. So now you can see that after a minute or two, all of my files are installed successfully. The firmware and also the rom.zip. It takes some 1 to 2 minutes to get it installed. So till then, have some patience. Now simply go back and the important step is that click on mount and mount the vendor. After mounting vendor, just go back and locate the DFE file from the prerequisites folder. So now click on that DFE and then just simply swipe to confirm flash. DFE as you all know guys since Android 13 that you have to flash so that your ROM doesn't get encrypted and your ROM gets decrypted after flashing it. Now simply you just have to go back and now click on reboot and reboot to the system. So all of the files which are required for the installation of Android 14 has been installed successfully and now our device is getting booted. While booting, make sure that it will take some about 5 to 10 minutes sometimes or sometimes even just 5 minutes. So till then you have to wait and do not click any of the button or else you might end up in boot loop or some any kind of issues. So let's fast forward this video and now here you will see that our ROM has been installed successfully. This is the welcome page where you just have to set up your device. So here I will just select location as India and language as English. Unlike you set up your Android 13 and all the ROMs, let me set up this device for now and I will see you after the setup. So boom, our ROM has been installed successfully and this is the home page where you will see this appealing look and this wallpaper. So at first glance you will see that it's exactly same like the Android 13 and there's no such difference. Like the UI and all the other stuffs are exactly the same. 
but now let's navigate to the about phone section to confirm and over here you will see that we are running and the latest and brand new android 14 which is running on pixel devices is now on our device which is the poco f1 with that said we have successfully installed the android 14 our poco f1 without any further issue as a first look even you will see that it has the latest android security patch of the month of october and also all the updated stuff which you actually get in android 14 the ui is a bit different where you will see the username in middle of the about phone section which is something changed than before whereas there might be a whole lot of options which we will later explore or i will just tell everything in detail in my next video so this is how you can seamlessly and easily install android 14 rom which is the aos pa on your poco f1 without any kind of issues so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one and till then peace out